Electroplating The process of depositing a layer of any desired metal on another material by means of electricity is called electroplating. Let us now see with the help of an activity how electroplating is exactly done. Take two copper plates of size 10 cm by 4 cm. Clean them with sandpaper. Now wash them with water and then dry them up. Make a solution of 250 milliliter of distilled water and 2 teaspoon of copper sulfate in a clean and dry beaker. For making the solution more conducting, add 2 to 4 drops of dilute sulfuric acid to it. Immerse the copper plates in the solution and connect with the battery. Allow the current to pass through this setup for 20 to 30 minutes. Now remove the battery and carefully observe both the plates. What do you observe? We observe that the copper plate which was connected to negative terminal got a coating of the copper in it. But it was not so with the other copper plate. How did this happen? Actually, as current passes through the copper sulfate solution, it dissociates the copper sulfate into copper and sulfate. This free copper being positive in nature is attracted by the copper plate connected to negative terminal of the battery and deposits over there. But will this process vanish the copper from the copper sulfate and thus the process will cease? No. The process continues as the copper plate connected to the positive terminal of the battery releases its copper which gets dissolved in the copper sulfate solution and hence replenishes it. So we have seen how electroplating can be done to transfer one metal over another. Applications of electroplating Electroplating is used on a big scale in the industry to coat desired metal on the other metal. It is used on the kitchen materials, car parts, bicycle handles and bathroom taps, gold and silver ornaments. Tin is electroplated on iron to store the food as it is less reactive than iron and does not spoil the food. Zinc is used to coat iron to make bridges and dams so that it is not corroded by rainwater and air.